Hello everyone, Dillian here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Star Wars review, and this one's on the Hoth Echo Base from 2011, or 2011, of course. So on the front fold manuals, we would have some of the set in action, and also the LEGO Star Wars logos, and the blue Captain Rex border from the time, of course, and set number 7879 has... There's first manual, which just last building stuff on the back. And then second manual, which on the back side is how to win on the online survey. And then how to play the LEGO Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars video game, and an advertisement. And then all the features of it and all the mini things included. Oh, oops. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then the last building steps. Oh, hang on. Sorry about some background noise, but yeah. So first up, we would have uh, the traditional Chewbacca, which same as he's been since 2000, and, well, until finally updated in 2014, of course, and wielding the crossbow and so on. Then have the uh, re uh, later updated uh, Han, Han Solo, which also which might have come in a couple other sets eventually, but however the Torso printing and leg printing looks quite good for that. And hood piece, same kind of similar to what we had for a while, but however, it's still done quite well. And of course, you can pop it off and swap around with the uh, traditional hair piece, same as it's been for quite a long time. Well, since 2000, of course. And then we have uh, Princess Leia, Hoth Princess Leia. Uh, which would be with face printing, torso printing, also looks quite good for that. And of course, accessory being uh, what's quite random is the trans yellow, uh, trans neon yellow uh, popsicle piece, kind of randomly. Maybe it's just to be add some extra diversity into the set or something. And then next was you have a wounded Luke Skywalker when in the bath the tank, was with the breathing apparatus and black eye and so on, and hair piece same as it's been for a long time. But and of course this did also come in the 2018 uh, Hoth medical chamber set, of course. And then next to which we have a snow trooper, uh, which which did come in the uh, Snow Trooper Battle Pack set from the year prior, which you did get two of in this set, of course, so good to have for a bit of army building, of course. And then next to which we have the 2-1-B Medical Droid, who, which did come in plenty of other sets, but however, the uh, sculpting for the torso piece looks quite good for how it is. It's both battle droid arms and legs, like you'd often expect for them. And then last of which we have, of which might have been, who was probably exclusive to the set, is, is R3PO, of course. Of which, same headpiece as C3PO, but in red. Interesting to see there. And also recently we did have the red protocol <laughs> droids shown in Ahsoka, so... Of course, could of course that would be a good reason to bring these around, bring that around again. But whatever. But however, the printing same as C3PO from earlier sets. But whatever. And then on the back side, which where all of which do you have some back torso printing, and 
and also Leia, which and Luke do have some quite good double side faces as well. Uh, minus Han, of course. And as for the snowtrooper, underneath that is just another plain black helmet piece, of course. And that is about it with the whole mini fig selection. And then next to which we have a Tauntaun, which, same as it's been for a quite a long time, probably since like, well, since 2009, uh, Echo Base set. But however, and of course, it does have the movable arms, of course, and also quite good sculpt work and printing to that. And then, of course, saddle piece, same sense as in most castle sets, of course. So then, of course, the reins as well. And like most of those, can like sit a mini fig on, like, sit Han on to, of course. And then also like the horses and such, able to fit a couple other bricks into as well, of course. And next to which, for, first for the side builds, we have this little uh, gun torrent here. Which the whole build of which quite similar to what we had with the uh, 2000 or 2019 snow speeder and I think or maybe 2014 snow speeder, well, like with the whip kind of design. But see, it was kind of a bit repetitive for that. Thing. And then next, which have a little speeder bike, main build quite same as for most sets for that, like with the lances for the front part and street signs for the front part and the most part of which being a, a trike kind of build in it and white and white and also same from the uh, 2010 uh, snow trooper battle pack set so kind of bit of easy repetition here and of course enough space to fit your snow trooper mini fig on to of course and that's about it there Lastly, onto the hot base, which, as you can see, quite large for how it is, and as you can see, it's like fully enclosed. But, however, there is a little feature with this. If you notice the clip part here, we can like unclip it and swivel it like inwards or like that, however you want. And of course, you can have it like that if you were to display it on the shelf or whatever. But however, let's go over to the sides of it. Like from the outside space, which has this archway that leads inwards. As well, archway that leads inwards, and also a little uh, turret. Gun, a little turret right here with a large dis dish piece on there on it and kind of swivels around but fortunately if you're like displaying it awkwards to this on the shelf well this of which would kind of get in the way of that um so easy fix to do so is just take plop it off and place it sideways like that Then on top of which do you have a couple little torrents also on swivels. Those may have classic blaster pieces, telescopes, and also a side with quick fire missile. So on to there, which kind of hard to get out, of course. But of course, if this were the whole set was done nowadays, I would expect there to be uh, stud shooters, of course. And then as for this other kind of section here. What those Technic bits are for is if you like turn them around and pull this little ladder part down then you can let the Tauntaun kind of be inside or step on out. So 
of the other side of which which has two with big uh, two big ugly rock pieces is with white slopes and cheese slopes around it and also little kind of compartment parts that you can flip down and there's a uh, small and longer blasters of course and also right above which is this little uh, top crane like part which I'll, which is easy to take off and that I'll mention later of course but as for the rest of the interior space we wish to have this little repair kind of area <coughs> and also kind of comprise on large plates enough which is kind of an enough walking space to for mini figs to walk around on but however do you get this little engine kind of space with an astromech droid body piece and a tube around it and also outside of which are these uh, little uh, street sign pieces that are stickered on them but also a little farther on you have a couple of vent pieces right there and also this little rack kind of area is with a single stud on there oh, which to fit the saddle of the tauntaun onto oh and also on the up then on the other side of which is a pair of little clips to hold the reins of the tauntaun onto as well so kind of a little storage area for that and this little open spot which is for the tauntaun to kind of sit down in to like live in and also to eat some of the foliage, the foliage piece right here or, of course and also this little section which does have a couple of, has, which is another little archway piece and the couple of bricks that hold the little bar pieces representing icicles there and well what you can do with that is pull on this and make them drop right out like it's like a gunfire shot has been made it collapse of course so of course kind of good fun feature to do something but although I can let that be used on used in darkish uh, in dark tan on a geonosis set which good uh, mindset to do and then above of which is a couple of little spotlight kind of pieces on little clips there and also this little spot which holds a couple crates in them with jumpers on top and hold nothing in them and they do work with the little crane like build with that I plucked off which I'll go again show later and then on to this other section same exact archway piece so if you're a symmetry person well works for you and on top of which is this large radar kind of piece it's made of the classic space space dish pieces and antennas and if you rotate it all around and then also down below is this little workspace here with like a couple of jagged slopes yeah jagged slopes so with stickers on them and also a swiveling chair around and also this little clear holographic kind of uh, sticker part and also with these little windshield kind of pieces but with stickers on them but turn sideways using a snot brick to that so probably one of the only uses of snot in this whole set of course and then further down and then also do you get the medical chamber which holds this little uh, resting recovery kind of bed part and then, of course, the bath tank that you can pull right down and also stand Luke on the studs there or actually are on there and represent him resting in the bath tank, of course. Now, on to this little crane like or little section kind of build. 
quite simply uh, done with various plates and also inverted jagged slopes and curved slopes down below and also two ladder pieces on the side sandwich and this little railing on top with a few flex tubes around as bar railing and all they need to pull the ladder around and since there are these piston pieces you can like go downwards and pivot upwards and also have this little brick around here where you take this little take one of the crates and put it onto there and you can like swivel it back and forth of course and then once again to onto the hot chamber here is that with the few jumpers on there so, and pop it on there and rests like very well to them. And so now on to the final verdict. Okay, so anyways, for the final verdict. Overall, I think this is which a, a quite good set for how it is, like, you, of how it's kind of like, maybe kind of large for how it is, but at least still quite good for how it is, like, you do get the uh, medical, hot medical chamber without being that small set of it. And also, and of course, do get Tauntaun, which even though it may have been repeat from the, from two years prior, and also, the snow spear also from two years prior so even though it's kind of like a smaller chunk of the uh, what's it called assault on hot UCS set but at least but without the snow spear and uh, generator of course but so even though you know you can get the snow speeders by themselves and all well and of course still workable for that of course And of course, do you get plenty of good playability as well, like with the falling icicles and so on. And of course, a little section for the Tauntaun's saddles, of course, but yeah. And also, kind of interesting that R3PO came only in just this one set, not sure why it came in any other sets. Almost like how the... how K3PO from the... Uh, a hot set from 2007 it kind of was exclusive to that but whatever but maybe they can you know they could come in other sets down the line or whatever sometime in the future but yeah and of course this is a great way to get some bit of hot without letting it be the uh, UCS assault on hot once again but yeah and so now, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some great memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.